The Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering GATE is an examination that primarily tests the comprehensive understanding of various undergraduate subjects in engineering and science. GATE is conducted jointly by the Indian Institute of Science and seven Indian Institutes of Technologies at Roorkee, Delhi, Guwahati, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Chennai Madras, and Mumbai Bombay on behalf of the National Coordination Board, GATE, Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Human Resources Development MHRD, Government of India. The GATE score of a candidate reflects the relative performance level of a candidate. The score is used for admissions to various postgraduate education programs e.g. Master of Engineering, Master of Technology, Doctor of Philosophy in Indian higher education institutes, with financial assistance provided by MHRD and other government agencies. Recently, GATE scores are also being used by several Indian public sector undertakings i.e., government-owned companies for recruiting graduate engineers in entry-level positions. It is one of the most competitive examinations in India. GATE is also recognized by various institutes outside India, such as Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Financial assistance in postgraduate programs A valid GATE score is essential for obtaining financial assistance during master's programs and direct doctoral programs in engineering, technology, architecture and doctoral programs in relevant branches of science in institutes supported by the Ministry of Human Resources Development or other government agencies. As per the directives of MHRD, the following procedure is to be adopted for admission to the postgraduate programs masters and doctoral with MHRD scholarship, assistantship, depending upon the norms adopted by a specific institute or department of the institute, a candidate may be admitted directly into a course based on his, her performance in GATE only or based on his, her performance in GATE and an admission test, interview conducted by the department to which he, she has applied and or the candidate's academic record. If the candidate is to be selected through test, interview for postgraduate programs, the minimum of 70% weight is given to the performance in GATE and the remaining 30% weight can be given to the candidate's performance in test, interview and or academic record. The admitting institutes can, however, prescribe a minimum passing percentage of marks in the test, interview. Some colleges, institutes specify GATE qualification as the mandatory requirement even for admission without MHRD scholarship, assistantship. To avail the financial assistance scholarship, the candidate must first secure admission to a program in these institutes, by a procedure that could vary from institute to institute. Qualification in GATE is also a minimum requirement to apply for various fellowships awarded by many government organizations. The criteria for postgraduate admission with scholarship, assistantship could be different for different institutions. In December 2015, the University Grants Commission and MHRD announced that the scholarship for GATE qualified master's degree students is increased by 22% from Rs. $8,000 per month to Rs. $12,400 per month. Eligibility The following students are eligible to take GATE Bachelor's degree holders in Engineering, Technology, Architecture 4 years after 10 plus 2, post B, SC, post Diploma and those who are in the final year of such programs. Master's degree holders in any branch of science, mathematics, statistics, computer applications or equivalent and those who are in the final year of such programs. Candidates in the second or higher year of four-year integrated master's degree programs post B, SC, in engineering, technology. Candidates in the fourth or higher year of five-year integrated master's degree programs or dual degree programs in engineering, technology. Candidates with qualifications obtained through examinations conducted by professional societies recognized by UGC, AICTE, e.g. Amy by IE I, AMIS I, by the Institute of Civil Engineers India ICE I, as equivalent to BE, B, Tech. Those who have completed Section A or equivalent of such professional courses are also eligible. There is no age limit criterion defined by the exam conducting authority to appear in GATE. <laughs> <laughs> Disciplines, structure, syllabus, and marking scheme 
At present, GATE is conducted in the following 24 disciplines. A candidate can select any one of these. There is a total of 14 paper sections that come under these two papers. The paper sections under Z** and XL** are defined by some dedicated codes which are mentioned in the following table. <laughs> Duration and examination type The examination is of three hours duration, and contains a total of 65 questions worth a maximum of 100 marks. From 2014 onward, the examination for all the papers is carried out in an online computer-based test CBT mode where the candidates are shown the questions in a random sequence on a computer screen. The questions consist of both multiple choice questions or MCQs four answer options out of which the correct one has to be chosen and numerical answer type questions or NATS answer is a real number, to be entered via an on-screen keypad and computer mouse. Candidates are provided with scribble pads for rough work and these have to be returned after the examination. At the end of the three-hour window, the computer automatically closes the screen from further actions. Topic. Syllabi Verbal ability, English grammar, sentence completion, verbal analogies, word groups, instructions, critical reasoning and verbal deduction. Numerical ability, numerical computation, numerical estimation, numerical reasoning and data interpretation. Engineering mathematics not for all papers. Technical ability, technical questions related to the paper chosen. Topic. Questions and marking scheme The examination will consist of totally 65 questions, segregated as one mark and two mark questions. Out of 65 questions, 10 questions will be from general aptitude verbal and, numerical ability and 55 questions will be technical, based on the paper chosen. The general aptitude section will have five one-mark questions and five two-mark questions, accounting for about 15% of total marks. The technical section and engineering mathematics section will combinedly have 25 one-mark questions and 32 mark questions, accounting for about 85% of total marks. Further, all the sections will have both multiple-choice questions or MCQs and numerical answer-type questions or NATs. The examination awards negative marks for wrong MCQ answers. Usually, one-third road of original marks will be deducted for wrong MCQ answers i.e. minus 0.33 for wrong one-mark answers and minus 0.66 for wrong two-mark answers while there is no negative marks for NATs. <laughs> Result and test score Gate results are usually declared about one month after the examinations are over. The results show the total marks scored by a candidate, the gate score, the All India Rank and the cut-off marks for various categories in the candidate's paper. The score is valid for three years from the date of announcement of the gate results. The score cards are issued only to qualified candidates. Normalized gate score new procedure. Calculation of normalized marks for subjects held in multiple sessions CE, CS, EC, E and ME. From 2014 onward, examination for CE, CS, EC, ME and E subjects is being held in multiple sessions. Hence, for these subjects, a suitable normalization is applied to take into account any variation in the difficulty levels of the question sets across different sessions. The normalization is done based on the fundamental assumption that, in all multi-session gate papers, the distribution of abilities of candidates is the same across all the sessions. According to the gate committee, this assumption is justified since the number of candidates appearing in multi-session subjects in GATE 2014 is large and the procedure of allocation of session to candidates is random. Further it is also ensured that for the same multi-session subject, the number of candidates allotted in each session is of the same order of magnitude. 
Based on the above, and considering various normalization methods, the committee arrived at the following formula for calculating the normalized marks, for CE, CS, EC, E and ME subjects, normalized mark MIJ of JTH candidate in ITH session, is given by MIJ equals MGT, MGQ, MTI, MIQ, MIJ, MIQ plus MGQ where MIJ is the actual marks obtained by the JTH candidate in the ITH session. MGT is the average marks of the top 0.1% candidates in all sessions of that subject. MGQ is the sum of mean and standard deviation of marks of all candidates in all sessions of that subject. MTI is the average of marks of top 0.1% candidates in the ITH session of that subject. MIQ is the sum of mean and standard deviation of marks of all candidates in the ITH session of that subject. After evaluation of the answers, normalized marks based on the above formula will be calculated using the raw actual marks obtained by a candidate in the CE, CS, EC, E or ME subject. The score will be calculated using these normalized marks. For all other subjects whose tests are conducted in a single session, the actual marks obtained by the candidates will be used in calculating the score. Calculation of gate score for all subjects single session and multiple session from gate 2014 onward and year 2014-15 of the two-year validity period of gate 2013 score, a candidate's gate score is computed by the following new formula. S equals S Q plus S T minus S Q M minus M Q M T minus M Q Display style s equals s underscore q plus s underscore t s underscore q frac m m underscore q overline m underscore t m underscore q, where s equals score normalized of a candidate, m equals marks obtained by a candidate. Normalized marks. In case of multiple session subjects C E C S E C E and M E. MQ equals qualifying marks for general category candidates in that subject usually 25 or mu plus sigma, whichever is higher. Mu equals average i.e. arithmetic mean of marks of all candidates in that subject. Sigma equals standard deviation of marks of all candidates in that subject. Mount equals average marks of top zero. 1% candidates for subjects with 10,000 or more appeared candidates or top 10 candidates for subjects with less than 10,000 appeared candidates street topic 900 score assigned to mt sq topic 350 Score assigned to MQ. Percentile. A candidate's percentile denotes the percentage of candidates scoring lower than that particular candidate. It is calculated as percentile equals 1 all India rank, no, of candidates in that subject by 100% equals topic old formula. Topic till gate 2012 and year 2013-14 of the two-year validity period of gate 2013 score. The score was calculated using the formula gate score. Ten A G plus S G M minus A S Display style ten a underscore G plus S underscore G FRAC MAS where M equals marks obtained by the candidate equals average of marks of all candidates who appeared in that subject in that year, with marks less than zero converted to zero 
S equals standard deviation of marks of all candidates who appeared in that subject, in that year, with marks less than zero converted to zero. AG equals global average of marks of all candidates who appeared across all subjects in current and past five years i.e. 2010 to 2013 for GATE 2013, with marks less than zero converted to zero. SG equals global standard deviation of marks of all candidates who appeared across all subjects in current and past five years i.e. 2010 to 2013 for GATE 2013, with marks less than zero converted to zero. Equals. Topic: Qualifying marks. Equals. The rules for qualifying marks have varied from year to year. The qualifying marks out of 100 are different for different subjects as well as categories. Here mu is the average, i.e., arithmetic mean, of marks of all candidates in the subject, with negative marks converted to zero, and sigma is the standard deviation of all marks in that subject. Usually, the general category's qualifying mark is in the 25 to 50 range. The government of India implemented reservations for other backward classes in college admissions and public sector job recruitment in the year 2008. Before that, all OBC candidates were included in the general category there was no separate obc category then topic <inaudible> statistics <inaudible> the following line chart shows the number of candidates registered appeared and qualified total of all subjects asterisk precise figures unavailable right now the following line chart shows the variation of the number of candidates appeared in the five subjects with the largest numbers of appeared candidates, since GATE 2010. Asterisk precise figures unavailable right now. <laughs> GATE statistics by years <laughs> Difficulty level GATE, for long, has been known to test the engineering basics in a smart way. Complaints of lengthy problems have been rare. But the task of mastering an entire course of engineering around 30 undergraduate subjects for a three-hour test, itself gives the test a certain level of toughness. Each year, only around 15% of all appearing candidates qualify. High percentiles more than 99th percentile, in some cases, are required to get admission in M.Tech, or M.E. degree programs in Indian Institutes of Technology and Indian Institute of Science, or get shortlisted for job interviews in Indian public sector undertakings. <laughs> <laughs> admission to postgraduate programs Unlike undergraduate admissions in India, candidates must apply individually to each institute after the institute has published its M.Tech. notification usually in the month of March. There is no separate counselling held. Some institutions specify GATE qualification as mandatory even for admission of self-financing students to postgraduate programmes. GATE qualified candidates are also eligible for the award of Junior Research Fellowship in CSIR laboratories and CSIR sponsored projects. Top rank holders in some GATE papers are entitled to apply for Shyama Prasad Mukherjee Fellowship, awarded by CSIR. Some government organizations prescribe GATE qualification as a requirement for applying to the post of a scientist, engineer. In recent years, various academicians have recognized GATE as being one of the toughest exams in its category. Some non-Indian universities like the National University of Singapore, Nanyang Technological University in Singapore and some technical universities in Germany also identify GATE score as a parameter for judging the quality of the candidates for admission into their master's and PhD programs. Some management institutes like NITI, Mumbai offer admission to postgraduate diploma in industrial engineering on the basis of GATE score. Most Indian institutes do not specify cutoff marks for previous years. So there is a general confusion in terms of selecting institutes and specializations. But in the recent years IIT Kharagpur and IIT Guwahati have been specifying last year cutoff mark list. 
Indian Institute of Technology Delhi has a very detailed website on postgraduate PG activities and admissions where students can find the relevant information on cutoff marks etc. Typically the Indian Institute of Science and Indian Institutes of Technology are the most selective followed by National Institutes of Technology and others. Also there are some state universities in India, whose standards and facilities are very much comparable to top IITs and NITs. Some of them are Peck University of Technology Chandigarh, Bengal Engineering and Science University recently converted to IIEST, Jadaspur University, Delhi Technological University, Gautam Budh Technical University, U.P., Cochin University of Science and Technology CUSAT, Andhra University College of Engineering, Asmania University etc. Even within the top institutes, the selection criteria varies widely across departments and programs depending on expertise areas. The Directorate of Technical Education of Maharashtra State has also started conducting CAP round from the year 2013 for GATE and non-GATE candidates in all institutes in Maharashtra that offer ME, M, Tech, programs. CSIR's JRF, GATE Fellowship The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR introduced the Junior Research Fellowship JRF GATE scheme in 2002 to allow GATE qualified engineering graduates and GPAT qualified pharmaceutical graduates to pursue research through suitable PhD programs at CSIR laboratories, stipend and tenure. The fellowship amount is 25,000 rupees $350 per month plus HRA house rent allowance. In addition, contingency grant of 20,000 rupees $280 per annum calculated on pro rata basis for fraction of a year is also provided. On completion of two years as JRF, GATE, the fellowship may be upgraded to SRF Senior Research Fellowship, GATE and stipend may be increased to 28,000 rupees $390 per month in the subsequent years, on the basis of assessment of CSIR JRF net guidelines. The total duration of the fellowship is five years, within which the candidate is expected to complete the Ph.D. degree. Topic recruitment Public sector undertakings PSUs in India, for long, have had troubles conducting their recruitment processes with more than 100,000 students taking the exams for less than 1,000 jobs a selection rate of less than 1%. After sensing the exponential rise in the number of engineering graduates in India who wish to get a PSU job, the PSUs have decided that a GATE score shall be the primary criteria for initial shortlisting. This change was the primary cause for the rapid increase in applicants for GATE 2012. Indian Oil Corporation was the first PSU which successfully tested out this system and was followed two years later by National Thermal Power Corporation, Bharat Heavy Electricals, Bharat Electronics and Powergrid Corporation of India. Usually these companies release their recruitment notifications right after GATE notification, indicating that candidates have to take GATE to be considered for a job in their organizations. List of companies Many companies have signed Memorandums of Understanding with the GATE Organizing Committee, for using GATE score as a screening tool for recruiting engineers at entry-level positions. Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited Indian Oil Corporation Limited National Hydroelectric Power Corporation Limited Power Grid Corporation of India Limited Mazagon Dock Limited Gujarat State Electricity Corporation Limited Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Central Electronics Limited Coal India Limited National Thermal Power Corporation Limited Punjab State Power Corporation Limited THDC Limited Odisha Power Generation Corporation Urkhan International Limited Bharat Broadband Network Limited Banknote Paper Mill India Private Limited National Highways Authority of India Airport Authority of India Delhi Metro Rail Corporation 
Bihar State Power Holding Company Limited The syllabus for the GATE exam and its preparation remains the same, irrespective of whether one is applying for a job at a PSU or seeking admission for post-graduation in engineering. <laughs> Changes in recent years Year and Organizing Institute Each year's gate is organized by any one of eight institutes, IISC and seven IITs. The overall coordination and responsibility of conducting gate lies with this institute, which is designated as the Organizing Institute for gate of that year. Gate coaching institutes often make speculations regarding the topics to focus upon depending upon the institute that is the OI of that year. Topic. See also Topic. Examinations Fundamentals of Engineering Examination FE exam. Principles and Practice of Engineering Examination PE exam. Graduate Record Examination GRE. Graduate Management Admission Test GMAT. Common Admission Test CAT. Test of English as a Foreign Language TOEFL. International English Language Testing System IELTS. All India Engineering – Architecture Entrance Examination -E -E -E. Joint Entrance Examination G. Topic. Institutes Indian Institute of Science Indian Institutes of Technology National Institutes of Technology <laughs> <laughs>